We get back now to that breaking news. A verdict is reached in the trial of ex-Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. We're waiting right now for that verdict to be read. It could happen in the next 15 to 30 minutes. Jurors looked at three weeks of testimony from 45 witnesses. They will announce if Derek Chauvin will be convicted in the death of George Floyd. The defense needs just one juror on its side to force a mistrial. <laughs> Businesses in downtown Minneapolis are boarded up and schools are switching to virtual learning tomorrow. All of that in preparation for possible demonstrations. It's like we've got National Guard outside, we've got helicopters flying over. It's hard to sleep. I, I don't like seeing armed guards on the corners of AR-15s. Um, I feel like it's making the community feel less safe. It just doesn't matter which way it goes. There's someone's going to be upset. We just, we want peace. We want community. We want unity. Chauvin faces up to 40 years in prison if convicted of murder. The White House is considering whether the president should address the nation after this verdict comes down. Earlier today, the president says he's, quote, praying for the right verdict, though he did not say whether guilty or not guilty would be correct.